Hi. Uh, see, is everyone can hear me? Uh, Mr. Mr. Zhang, not yet. Uh, we will start with the countdown, and I will introduce you to the floor. And after that, oh, then only okay. you, you start alongside with the okay, screen. You, okay. okay, you give me a signal. Huh? Okay, yeah. thanks. Once once I put the stream in, your presentation in, uh, mm -hmm. then you can start. Okay, okay. Give me a signal. Thanks. Okay. Hello everyone. Hi. Very good evening to uh, Sidas audiences. We have here today uh, at 2.45 p.m. We have Mr. Chow Yu Kong. Uh, Yu Kong. Uh, he is from Time.com Berhad. He is the uh, security technical consultant. And he today will share with us his present presentation on simplified security defenses for complex cyber threats. I will leave the floor to Mr. Chow. Uh, for, for him to do his presentation. Mr. Cho, you may have the floor. Okay, thanks. Okay, let me present my screen here. Uh, okay, sorry, I think... Uh, Okay. Hmm. Um, I think there's a something uh over here. Sorry, give me a moment for technical issues right here. No, no, no. Don't worry, don't worry. Ah. Can you see the full screen? Yeah. Is it full yet? Uh, if, if, if not, then I'll present in this way. Is it okay? Yeah, not a problem. Hmm. You want to present this way? Yeah. Okay. okay because uh, I, if I present in the presenter mode, uh, yeah. somehow it, could, it couldn't show my full screen. Oh, like, like that. Yeah. Okay. 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 First of all, I would like to thank you, the host, our host, NAPSA and National Security Council, okay, for giving us an opportunity to present our solution here. Okay, and uh, first and foremost, okay, I would like to introduce myself. Okay, I'm Chow uh, from the security business team at Time. So uh, my goal is to create a safer digital uh, world where everyone can work and uh, business can thrive with a peace of mind. So today I'm going to be talking about the importance of a security and how to safeguard uh, your organizations. So without further ado, first let's begin with a short overview of my organizations, Time.com. So, as uh, uh, you may know that Time is a fixed line telco provider that listed in uh, our Osami market since the uh, year 2001 with the current market, market capitalizations, capitalizations of uh, 8.4 billions. So, we are not only owns and operate the Malaysian boy network, okay, but also the first Malaysia telco to own the fiber network infra in our neighborhood country, Singapore. And then we also own the international submarine cable system that connecting the Malaysia's and uh, until the United States and the Europe, okay. And our co coverage is also extend until the Thailand and Vietnam, okay, through our investment in the CMC Telco, Symphony, and KRZ. Okay. So we are not only owns the operation, uh, uh, 
part of our journey for more than the two, uh, we are not only owns uh, operate uh, Malaysian wide network. Okay, so throughout our journey for more than two decades, we have been served for various type of uh, customer coming from all type of industry. Okay, from the banking, education, governments, and many more. Okay, and also to serve our our customer in a better way. Okay, time also has embarked in the various international standards. Okay, not only our customer can have the confidence in engage our solutions, but also it's our commitment. Okay, we in uh, uh, with the current standard in the digitalization here. Okay, so here I would like to draw your attention. Okay, to some of our achievement in the certifications. For example, like time is also uh, Malaysia first MEF 3.0 certified career grade network. Okay, equipped with the country's premier and FBI architectures, okay, which allow uh, 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 your organization to scale as and when needed. Okay, and then uh, our achievement to obtain the PCI DSS certificate is also our commitment. Okay, to our client uh, in meeting the cybersecurity standard. So uh, our, our footprint also not, uh, not only covers on the telco connectivities, but our footprint also covers the various area of uh, modernizations in helping our client in digitalizations. So as the icon that draw your attention in this slide, okay, our hyperscale service also include in the data centers, the protections, and the cloud computing. Okay. So now that you're aware of our organizations, let's begin with our country landscape in the digital transformations. So first, let us let me share of some numbers in our journey to become a developed nation. Okay. As, you may, uh, as you may see here, 66% of the digital economy right, is expected to be contributed to the Malaysia GDP by 2025. Okay. With that, given the current pandemic, right, the many businesses right, have been uh, forced to accelerate um, their, their, our digital transformations okay, to weather the economic uncertainty. Okay, the digital future is already here, okay, and our organizations, organizations must not forget okay, about our security to protect the mission, mission critical apps and also the data okay, when we thrift into the digital landscape. Okay. The fact that more and more digitalized business also bring our attention right, to the increasing uh, of a cyber threat case that alarming most of us. And similarly, our Malaysia digital economy blueprint also pointed some of the fact that digitalization is happen and accelerate in our daily life. Okay, the research is also showing that eighty four percent of countries now offer online transitional transitional service. Okay, which more of us can also relate in our daily life. Okay, such as when we doing our passport renewals. Okay, and then um, uh, and for the current pandemic sessions. Okay, uh, when we use our My Sejahtera app. Okay. Hence, the weight of the digitalizations right, has increased not only from the business operations, but also the, to the delivery of the public services. Okay. So with that, and we would like to show you how and where time can help you as a telco provider in the next slide. So as you know that okay, we are all well known with our fiber broadband services. Okay, but then apart from that, we are not offer we are not only offering uh, connectivity solutions, okay, but also covers the range uh, from the data centers, cloud security, and voice product, okay, so that to form a security robust foundations to build the digital uh, infrastructures okay, and to serve uh, your growing uh, organization's need. Okay, and here I would like to draw your attention here and how we deliver our comprehensive solutions that help you, uh, your organization in digital transformations with our comprehensive system uh, that shows that uh, with uh, multi-cloud and hybrid, hybrid IT enables. Okay. So the peer features I would like to point out here, okay, which include that, uh, our subscription model infra for DC and cloud services okay, that help your organizations to move from CapEx and to the OPEX models, okay? And also that the comprehensive professionals and managed service that is your IT service management, okay? With the industrial standard and the compliance that we have seen in the first part uh, of my speech, at, uh, including the PCI DSS, okay? And likewise, okay. 
Our global footprint is also another key point in the digital transformations. Okay? With our interna international cable footprint covered until to the United States and Europe, okay? similarly, our footprint also covers the whole nations. Okay? So, which make time committed and play an important role in our country digital economy. So this include our first Malaysian telco on fiber network, okay, infra in Malaysia and also the Singapore. Okay. So and last, I would not like want to miss that. I want you all to miss that our 20, 29 years of experience in the data center business, which is also played a very, very important part okay, in digitalizations. Okay. Not only is the home of our Malaysia Internet Exchange, okay, but then our Monaro aims is also our flagship facilities endorsed by the National Security Council. Okay. So, which is uh, 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 covered as one of the crucial facilities in Sasaran Penting. And, uh, and uh, as an issue because of the critical technical connectivity present in our facilities. Okay. And all these our foundation pillars work together okay, to keep your organizations running at efficiency. But without the security, okay, our operations are helpless against the cybers and disrupt and the business disruptions. So now I want to move on to the second part of the today's presentations, okay, which looks at our cybersecurity solutions. And before we begin on how time and how time can help you in combating the cyber threat, let's have a quick understand on what's the key challenges in our journeys on digitalization. So in most of our, our journeys right towards the digitalization, especially after during these uh, pandemic sessions, okay, which is we ultimately aim at enhancing the user experience, we all must not forget that the cyber threat is also evolving. Okay, so because and then there will be no ending on this. And and just that the battlefield has changed to a different manner. Okay. Hence we need a very reliable and security features okay, to safeguard our daily operations so that we can combat the threats efficiently. And here is just one of the many facts that tell us the type of a cyber threat. And I'm pretty sure we all have seen that um, many of these uh, many of these statistics during this event. Okay. And I will not want to flood you all too much again with this data. Okay. But then I would like to point out again, okay, the type of data has evolved in many, many ways. Okay. That serve different purpose. Okay. Which is not only cause you the disruption in your operations. Okay. But some of that's right. Okay, such as the cyber harassments right here, okay, which are mostly done by the bad defacements, it's also impact our organizations. Okay. And then our recent joint program with the MAN MDEC that offer the cyber security program that, that specialized targeted to uh, our SME segments has also shown us some fact, uh, uh, some very alarming fact on how the cyber threats affect our SME. Okay. So and 60% company close uh, 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 within six months, right? It's showing that they're being hacked in just, in just year of 2019. Okay. And then this, all these facts, right? It's just showing only the, give you a, a, a rough overview on what happened on the SME. So if let's say it includes the, the other segments and whole country, so I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, all these figures will be even, even more coming and, 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 uh, uh, and worried. Okay. Not to mention that the, the, the next few, we're also seeing that some of the recent, recent news is also target uh, uh, various of the government agency. So that's the context on how the cyber threat is evolving around us. So in order to combat all these threats, right? Okay, and uh, we do understand that there's many, many challenges that need to be addressed. Okay. And there's a few challenges in commons, okay, and many organizations that, that, that would, uh, 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 we have, uh, we can relate, uh, in this. Okay. For example, lack of the tools. Okay. Technologies. So even though you have a lot of uh, tools in place, uh, in place, but lack of knowledge and expertise is also one of the common challenges. Okay. So, and then the lack of resources, not only the, not only, uh, uh, on the technology itself, on the people itself. Okay. But also on the investment side. Okay. And, and all this, right, make us become the easy targets for the bad guys. So hence, how to bolster our defense against the cyber threat has become a common issue okay, in our daily life. And in time, 
Okay, we believe in the concept security to be well adapt in every of, of the uh, our uh, organizations. Okay, so here I would draw the attentions on the left side, on the left hand side, uh, or the, the over. Okay, first of all, all the all the securities right. We have to begin with a policy and procedures, and we all would we have uh, agree. And and you can re we can relate ourselves in, in especially in the pandemic uh, uh, this uh, during these pandemic seasons. Okay, so and all these policy and procedures, right? Okay, is well can and can only be well executed. Execute. Okay, uh, with the with the, a lot of te technology, like addressed in the few uh, uh, next few layers, like physical securities, uh, network security, host security, and until to the ultimate goal our application and the data security that guards our data. Okay, so some of it, how to relate in our real life, like, like the policy and procedures that spell in our daily uh, SOP during our MCO, movement control. Okay, then we have a physical control uh, uh, that, that spell out for the these uh, physical securities. So for examples, like those are CCTV, the fences, okay, and until the next layer, so where this is, we can relate in, in the cyber securities. So network security, uh, for example, like firewall, the sandboxings, okay, until to the data securities that we, we, we all carry out, uh, very, very well carry out uh, by our this uh, uh, IT operations team. And we also believe that this security should be a continuous process. So, in time, we believe we based on the this well-known security framework, the five function of the cyber security uh, framework from the NIST. Okay, so which is cover okay from the identify, protect, detect, response on recover. Okay, so each of these right serve ultimately and and is a is a and is a, a well framework right to help us to combat efficiently okay on the today's uh, 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 growing threats. Okay, so regardless where your data sits at, whether it's in the cloud or data data centers or your own corporate networks, okay, first begin with the identify. So we identify, okay, with the correct uh, um, policy and the procedures, okay, that normally our organizations carry out with the help of the, the consultants or the advisor, the security advisors, okay, so so that we uh, you understand, okay, where's the risk at, you understand where your asset at. Okay, you understand, uh, um, you expect the outcome is uh, uh, to understand your risk appetite. Okay, so in order to have a well protected mechanisms. Okay, and all this after your, you, 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 you all, we have a uh, well protected mechanisms that address by the various kind of uh, these, uh, the tools and technologies, for example, ranging from a firewall until the antivirus at your house. Okay, but here I would like to draw your attention okay, at the two over detect and response. So what do we expect from the detect and response here is so because security should be a continuous process. Okay. And the challenges that we addressed in the previous slide, the lack of uh, 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 expertise and skills, right? So the detect and response spell out the expectation that we have to like continuous monitoring on the cyber security events. Okay. To ensure the anomalies and the events are detected, okay, so that the impact is well understood, okay, and that's that is to ensure that the response planning process is well executed, well executed during an incident. So that's why we can see that the detect and response is always work hand in hand, okay. So in time, we have our our one of our solution security solutions, time twenty four by seven cyber security monitoring service. Okay, is aimed at to to deliver this uh, business the, this uh, uh, outcome. Okay, so we know that most of the organizations they will have their policy and procedures. Okay, which is a uh, well uh, spelled out during the identify process. Okay, and then uh, it's a uh, well equipped on the protect uh, uh, protection control. Okay, but with the this uh, cyber security monitoring uh, services. Okay. We also can we, we we are actually aimed at to help our clients, okay, help organizations in monitor and safeguard and collect the, uh, and, and monitor the events in the twenty four by seven manner. Okay, sorry. 
Okay. So and lastly, when there's a recovers, okay, so so that so that uh, on the recover functions that take in place, right, it will form a a a, a, a continuous process uh, and uh, uh, to to deliver and uh, a safeguard a well uh, a safe uh, a well known cybersecurity framework in combating your uh, uh, the current cyber threats. Okay, so with that. Uh, Okay, with that, if uh, I would like to pretty sums up sums up uh, um, today's my presentations. Okay, so which is that uh, with the today, uh, not only that uh, after the post post pandemic sessions, right, our digitalizations uh, journeys has has accelerated. Okay, but also um, the the cyber threats. Okay, is also evolving and growing. Okay, so that's why uh, we have to uh, uh, the. the all the list of framework has to be carried out efficiently, okay, in order to safeguard our organizations. So with that, I would like to sum up my presentation here. Okay, so in, in if, if uh, any audience, uh, if any uh, of you is interested in our time 24 by 7 cybersecurity monitoring services, okay, please drop us at our booth at MDEC Pavilion, uh, exhibition floor two. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chow, uh, for your presentation and especially on the post report uh, COVID on the SMEs uh, receiving cyber threats. That stats is very alarming. 79%, right? Was it? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, those stats, uh, was it uh, collected by you or they reported to the to the MCMC or, you know? Oh. So those that is collected uh, from our Malaysia's uh, uh, report. So, uh -huh. for example, like the Malaysia's uh, digital economy blueprint, and some of it, some and most of it is uh, from our local uh, agencies. So, it's a proven reports. So we have like two years of uh, pandemic era. So I think the stats should be on that rate also, right? Yes, and, and some of the mm, and some of the, some of the stats, right? Is uh, yeah. is. For example, some of that stat, right, is just showing a 2019. And after oh. the post pandemic sessions, yes, one of the one, one of the one of the figure, right, is showing the, the stat from the 2019. And then we have the, the pandemic in 2020, right? And we expect the figure is even more and higher. Yeah. So we must not forget that the the the, the, the after the post pandemic post pandemic, right, the work from home work styles has, has uh made us that we have to evolve. Our digitizations, but then it's also uh, uh the, the same works work the same way on the bad guys. So so the bad guy is even even have to have the also uh, 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 uh more chance right to target uh, uh, uh all 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 the uh, all sort of organizations. Oh. Yes. So mm. does individual that working from home gets the same protection? Or for for example, if their SMEs has already uh have uh, your your solution i would say yeah i yeah. would say that that for all, all the all the, because of the work from home right so that's why um uh, when when come to the this uh when come to the, the security process right when come to the identify yeah so we have uh, have to identify the risk okay? uh what happened when 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 we have to switch switch our um uh, operation staff from the work from home. What is the risk? That's why well, we also have uh, these uh, uh, services to help you to assess your risk. Okay. And then after that, we will, mm. we, we then, and that, that is uh, to help you, uh, or all of us, right, to, uh, to how to address well in safeguard uh, uh, all our data. If let's say uh, all our staff, right, is working uh, from home. So, for example, there's uh, like, uh, of course, there also like a well-known protections control uh, uh, that, that protect your, uh, 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 when we work from home, for example, like the VPN, VPN, or for example, like those are uh, host protections uh, software. That's a lot. Mm. Mm -hmm. But first that we have to know that this security is right. is actually, is a continuous process. Okay. Not only the protections. So, so we, we, we always that, uh, uh, focus on the protection alone. Okay. Then we have to know that uh, uh, it's actually everything, everything spelled out right here. The process, work, uh, everything is work hand in hand. OK, 
okay, from the identify sessions. So we identify the risk. We under we, we have to understand where is our risk. Okay, so by understand where is our asset, what is what is the critical criticality of it. Okay, so so then to if we address uh, uh what is where is our risk appetite. Okay, so that we can put in all the protection control efficiently. Okay, so after that we put in the protection control. Then we have to find a way that how 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 to make sure that we detect and capture the events, uh uh uh, uh, uh in a in a in a in a monitor the event in a continuous continuous manner. Okay, because the bad guys, uh, they they don't have the office hour, so it, it, oh, yeah. it uh, uh, yeah. So our 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 network or maybe our our uh, operations might facing an attack in the in, in the middle of midnight, right? So, so that's why all the process must be, must be well in place. All is beginning from the identify, protect, detect, response, and to recover. So, so because we, we, uh, it recover is happened after the, in case that something bad happened. So that, so that you put your business back to work, uh, back to the, back to the normal. Uh, so mm. all our previous, uh, like for example, for my company, all our previous data will be in your archive. Lah. That, that's how you recover, right? I believe. Yeah, that's, that's one of the. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the. That that is that is one of the control that spell out in the uh, recover. Mm. Okay, cool. I will mm. now go to the cyber podium floor to look at uh, questions from the audience. Mm, give okay. me a moment. Mm. Right now, we do not have any questions. But let me just ask the audience. To the audience that is tuning in, uh, you can also uh, visit a uh, time uh, booth at floor two M deck, uh, and you can ask for the uh, salesperson there. Example mm. for Mr. Chow or um, Puan Sharifa is there, uh, and ask for more questions uh, regarding the uh, technical solutions. Okay. Um, so, uh, we wait for like uh two minutes uh for for the audience to ask questions. Uh, Mr. Chow, uh, I think we can wrap uh, the session. Uh, Hmm. Uh, I wish to say thank you for your presentation just now. It was a very, very beautiful graphic that you put in, uh, especially <laughs> the one, the Malaysia part, you know, there's for cyber, uh, fiber, fiber inf infrastructure and the slides before that. It was very nice. Yeah, uh, I would also, also like to thank you, Naksa and the Malaysian National Council and you all uh, for uh, hosting this uh, very good event, even despite this, this uh, pandemic ses uh, sessions, right, we all still can gather virtually. So, very very big thank you to you all and uh good job thank you thank you for the compliment <laughs> okay stay safe thanks bye bye okay bye bye